My name is Fairuz Hasna Karima, and I'm an exchange student from Gyeonggi University. Um, actually, I would like to uh, give you some questions, and I'm sorry if you find it really shallow because I'm just I'm just like wondering. My first question is, uh, why do you think is it not enough for a human being and for a Muslim specifically to only do good things in life and not harm others? and just being good to other creatures. I mean, like, I know a lot of people who follow Al-Quran and then they still do bad things to other people and other God's creatures. And I think that is, is it better? In my opinion, it's better to like, for you to go, to do good things for other God's creatures, but not really like following or I don't know, it's something like that. And why do you think also is it not enough for us Muslims to only believe in God and keep keep himself in ourselves? Like, we can praise God and I'm grateful to God. And why can't we just pray in our prayings in ourselves? Like, why does it need to be in form of salat? And also, uh, my last point is my like... Sister. Yes. One question at a time. Okay. If you're asking four or five questions, you will to answer. Okay, okay. Sister's okay. already asked two questions. Okay. The first question is that why some Muslims do bad things? Why can't we only do good things and not do bad things is the first question. <laughs> and is it required that when we pray, we should pray in a particular form? Why can't we just pray the way we like? Is the question. As far as first question is concerned, that why do many Muslims who say they are Muslim and do bad things? Sister, the Quran does not tell a single thing which is bad. You point out a single verse in the Quran to me which is against humanity. There is not a single teaching of Islam, single teaching in the Quran or the Sai Hadith which is against humanity. There may be some Muslims who may not be following Quran and may be doing wrong things. For example, Quran says don't cheat. There may be Muslims who may be cheating. The Quran says don't hurt your neighbors, help your neighbors. They may be hurting their neighbors. So these sisters are bad examples. It's the same answer I gave earlier that don't judge Islam by looking at the followers. For example, in a school, a very famous school, some students get first class first, some get second class, some get third class, some fail. Can you blame the school for that? No. Some students have to come out first class first, some have to fail. So this is part and parcel. So mm -hmm. those who have failed will not get the passing certificate. But they are students of that school, right or wrong? The same way those people who call themselves Muslims and they do wrong things and bad things, they will not get passing certificate. Mm -hmm. They are bad students of their school. But can you blame the school for that? No, I cannot. In I every cannot. school, there are good students and bad students. Every school. Now coming to your second part of the question, that why don't we thank God the way we want to thank? Why only thank in a particular way like prayer? Or you may ask that only being good is not sufficient. The Quran says in Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse 1 to 3, there are four criteria for any human being to go to Jannah. Wal Asr, inna al insan fi khus, illa ladin amnu, wa amilu salihati, wa tawa sabir haq, wa tawa sabir sabir. By the token of time, man is well in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who do righteous deeds, those who exhort people to truth, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. Only having Iman, Iman means the believing in God, is not sufficient. You should also do righteous deeds. Should not rob, should not cheat, should help the others. Second criteria, first is Iman faith, second is righteous deeds, third is exhorting people to truth, calling people to the right path. And fourth is exhorting people to patience and perseverance. If any one of them is missing, under normal circumstances, you shall not go to Jannah. For example, you may say, there are some human beings who are very good. Don't cheat, don't rob, help other people, very truthful. But they don't have faith. They don't thank God. Or they are thanking wrong God. Even they will not enter Jannah. Even they will not go to paradise. Why? Because number one, thanking our creator is more important than helping the human beings. The person who created you, the person who gave you life, the person who gave you all these benefits, you are thanking him and you are abusing him. That's a bigger sin than abusing the human beings. So number one is first understanding and realizing who the creator is and thanking him the way he should be thanked. For example, you said, why should we pray the way we pray? Well, now I'm asking you the question. The creator created us. He is the best who can tell you how should you pray to him. 
Today I will say that I want to pray maybe standing on one leg. That's how I want to pray. For example, in a class, the teacher says that, okay, if you respect me, then you obey my commandment. The student said, no, no, I respect you, but I don't want to obey you. I want to respect the way I want to respect. Who's right? Because the teacher says, if you obey me, you will be respecting me. So Almighty God who is the creator. He's prescribed how you should pray. And when we pray, we benefit. Because in our prayer, we do the sajda, we put the highest part of the body, the forehead on the lowest part of the ground, and say, glory be to Allah who is the most highest. Glory be to Allah who is the most highest. Thrice. Because today psychology, they tell us that our body is under our control, our mind is not directly under our control. So to humble the mind, you have to humble the body. I've given the talk on Salah, the programming towards righteousness, which gives the detail, why do we offer Salah the way we offer? I request you to see that on the YouTube. Thank you for your answer. And I have my last question. Can I? Can sure. I? So, as far as I know, Islam is teaching us about how to do good things in life and also um, for our afterlife. But according to your previous answers, uh, what I'm wondering about is like, um, why is it wrong if I do good things to people and also I believe in God and also I I do his commands like helping others and also like some other things that uh, that mentioned in Quran but um, I, I just don't understand about the way we should pray and uh, you mentioned that before and also like a fasting thing and other sunnah, sunnah, sunnah things I just don't really understand about that because I know a little bit the history about why we should fast. But what I don't understand is why why we need to to like apply that in our lives uh, when we already know like we can like do the, do that once in a life or once in a lifetime, but not in once in a year or something like that. I just don't understand. Sister, that's a question. Two questions. Number one, why is it wrong to help others? Nowhere does the Quran say it is wrong to help mm -hmm. others, sister. It is good to help others. If you don't help others, you will be doing wrong. Point number one. Point number two, why do we do certain things like sunnah? Sunnah means it is the action and the commandments of the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. For example, you have, why should we fast? And why should we fast in that particular month? The reason we fast is because that is one of the pillars of Islam. And the Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 183 that fasting has been prescribed to you as it was prescribed to people who came before you so that you may learn self-restraint, so that you may learn taqwa, so that you may learn piety, so that you may attain God consciousness. Why do we fast together? Because we believe in unity. All fast in that month of Ramadan because we believe in unity. When we pray also we pray together. If you pray in unity, then you get more blessings as compared to praying alone. Similarly, fasting means we have to fast for one month. So one month has been completely prescribed as the month of Ramadan. It is 29 to 30 days. And we follow the teaching of the Sunnah of the Prophet because he is the last and final messenger of Almighty God. But I want to ask you, sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes, I believe in God. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I believe in that too. So that means yeah. you are a Muslim. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, thank so sister, you. Sister, would you like to say it in Arabic? Uh, because the minimum two things required for a person to become a Muslim is mm -hmm. to believe there is one God yes. and to believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. All the other things come later on. So if you believe in these two things, mm -hmm. these are the minimum two things required for any person to enter into Islam. Yes. Okay. So would you like to say it in Arabic? Um, According to me, you are a Muslim. Yeah, I, I am a Muslim. Oh, you are a Muslim? Yes, I am a Muslim. Actually, my parents is are Muslim too, and all my family is Muslim too, but I'm just, lately I've just been questioning myself whether what is this and what is this for and some things like that. So now, has it been confirmed? Yes. Has it been confirmed now um, that all these teachings are correct? I think a little bit. Good sister. And I pray to Allah to give you more guidance and more hidayah, inshallah. Um, actually, is it okay if I if I give my opinion? About on what? one thing, sure. so uh, you say that it's the same thing uh, for people. There are four characteristics of people who go to heaven, right? Correct. Like believe in God and also like I good forgot. Deeds. Yes, good deeds. Good deeds. Invite people to truth. I invite mm. people to patience and perseverance. Yeah. So uh, is it the same in your opinion? Does it make any differences for people who do good to other people? But uh, 
they don't do solat and they, they don't do prayer, but they believe in God. And those who do solat and also do good things to people, but they sometimes like discriminate other people and also like say bad things about other people, even though they do solat and believe in God. So what of so the you asking me a question? Basically, a person who offers salah yeah. and does some bad things is better, yeah. or a person who does good things and doesn't offer salah, correct? Yeah, but yeah, it's kind of like amongst all the deeds, and the first deed Almighty God will ask you is about your salah. The first question. God will ask you on the day of judgment. Salah is the second pillar of Islam. And not offering Salah is the fourth major sin in Islam. The first major sin is shirk, associated partners with God. Number two is killing any innocent human being. Third is black magic. And fourth is not offering Salah. Our beloved Prophet said, it is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, the difference between Iman and Kuf is not offering Salah. So between the two, a person who offers Salah and maybe doing some bad thing like telling a lie, Compared to a person who is truthful and doesn't offer salah. A person who offers salah and tells a lie is doing a small sin as compared to a person who does not tell a lie and does not offer salah. So between the two, the person offering salah and telling a lie is a far better human being, is a far better Muslim than a person who speaks the truth and does not offer salah. Because if you don't offer salah, you're not thanking God. That's a bigger requirement. Thanking God is much more important. Not offering salah is the fourth major sin. Telling a lie is a smaller sin. So between the two, a person who offers salah and tells a lie is a far superior human being and a far superior Muslim than a person who tells a lie and does not offer salah. But the best is offer salah and don't tell a lie. Quran says in Surah Ankabu chapter 29 verse 45, it says that verily salah will restrain you from shameful and unjust deeds. So if your salah is correct, Inshallah, you will not lie, you will do good things and you will be a better Muslim. Hope that answers the question. Ji, Khushamdi, dosto, umid karta ho, video aapne puri dekhi hogi aur aapko pasand bhi aai hogi. Musalman aur musalmano ki wajah se badnaam honne wale log. Baiyo, dosto. Or Islam, Musliman, jab bhi peda hua aur jis ne bhi Islam kabool kiya, Allah Taala ne isko ikhtiyar diya. एक इसके लिए सीधा रास्ता दिखाया और एक गलत रास्ता और बंदे को अल्लाह ताला ने इख्तियार दिया और इसका जिक्र सूरत शम्स में मौजूद है फाल हम हाफुजुरा व तकवा इंसान को इख्तियार है कि वो अच्छाई अपनाए या बुराई अपनाए तो किसी एक इंसान की वजह से आप पूरे मजहब को बुरा नहीं कह सकते मिसाल के तौर पर आपने हिटलर का नाम सुना होगा उसने बहुत ज्यादा यहूदियों को कत्ल किया इसकी वजह से आप यह नहीं कह सकते कि वो ईसाई था तो इसकी वजह से ईसाइत का मजहब जो है ना वो बहुत बुरा है इसी तरह अगर एक आदमी मुसलमान होकर गलत काम करे जिना करे कत्ल करे तो आप यह नहीं कह सकते कि सारे मुसलमान जो है ना वो इस तरह है यही कुछ इस वीडियो में भी दिखाया गया है ये औरत जो सवाल कर रही है इंग्लिश में वो यही पूछ रही है कि क्या मुसलमान होने के लिए ये ज़रूरी है कि वो अच्छे काम करे बिल्कुल ज़रूरी है जब आप मुसलमान होते हैं आप पर हकूक ला और हकूक लबाद दोनों आते हैं आपको हकूक ला का भी ख्याल रखना होगा और हकूक लबाद बंदों के हकूक भी आपने उनके भी जो है ना वो ख्याल रखने होंगे अल्लाह ताला अपना हक माफ़ फरमा देंगे लेकिन अगर बंदे का हक आपके ऊपर रह गया और आप दुनिया से चले गए तो आखिर में इसका हिसाब किताब लिया जाएगा ये बात जहन में याद रखो इसलिए किसी भी चोरी से धोखे से और हरामखोरी से अपने आप को भी रोको और अपने बच्चों को भी रोको और ये औरत एक अजीब सा सवाल करती है असल में कुरिया में है तो ये कह रही है कि मैं ऐसे लोगों को जानती हूँ जो कुरान भी पढ़ते हैं और गलत काम भी करते हैं तो बिल्कुल अगर एक मुसलमान कुरान भी पढ़ता है गलत काम भी करता है यह बहुत गलत बात है लेकिन इसकी वजह से आपका ये कहना कि सारे मुसलमान इस तरह है तो ये बात बिल्कुल गलत है और कुरान डॉक्टर जाकिर नाइक की वीडियो में आपने देखा कि कुरान में कोई भी ऐसी आयत ना होगी जो कि इंसानियत के ख़िलाफ़ हो अगर कोई आदमी इस्लाम का नाम लेकर गलत काम करे तो इसका हर किसी का मतलब नहीं कि वो मुसलमान ही होगा ऐसे ऐसे काफिर भी मौजूद हैं जो कुरान का तर्जुमा भी जानते हैं हदीस भी जानते हैं लेकिन होते मुसलमान नहीं मुनाफिक होते और मुनाफिक के बारे में अल्लाह ताली फरमाते हैं इन मुनाफिकी नफ़ दर के असफले मिनन्नार तो भाइयों दोस्तों इस्लाम एक अमन वाला मजहब है और मुसलमान हमेशा 
جو صحیح مسلمان ہوتا ہے وہ صرف اور صرف اللہ کی عبادت کرتا ہے اور اپنی اخلاق سے وہ لوگوں کو اسلام کی طرف آنے کی دعوت دیتا ہے اگر آپ رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی ہسٹری دیکھیں گے اس کی سیرت پڑھیں گے آپ کو اندازہ ہوگا کہ سو میں سے نبے فیصد لوگ جو اسلام قبول کر چکے رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی وجہ سے تو وہ ان کی اخلاق سے متاثر ہوئے تو ہم مسلمانوں کو چاہیے کہ ہم اپنے اخلاق ٹھیک کریں اور خاص کر وہ مسلمان جو ملک کے باہر ہے غیر ممالک میں ہے جاپان میں ہے آسٹریلیا میں ہے یو کے میں ہے انگلینڈ میں ہے ان کو چاہیے اپنے اخلاق درست کرے اور اپنے معاملات جو ہیں نا وہ درست رکھے دھوکے سے بچے تاکہ آپ کی وجہ سے اور مسلمانوں کی بدنامی نہ ہو امید کرتا ہوں یہ ویڈیو آپ کو پسند آئے ہو یہ اگر ویڈیو آپ کو پسند آئے اس چینل کو سبسکرائب کرے بہت شکریہ